friends. Hope you're doing well. So today we are talking about my favorite YouTube channels. Channels that I love to watch when I am having downtime. Yes, I do watch YouTube. <laughs> um, I There are so many channels that I love to watch with so much different um, content. And I thought I'd share them with you because you're obviously somebody who enjoys watching YouTube. And so I thought it would be fun to share with you the channels that I like to watch. And maybe you can comment down below channels that you like to watch that maybe I've never heard of before. So I'm sitting here with my coffee and my second cup of coffee this morning. I don't have much to do these days, guys. <laughs> it is my birthday week and um, and that's kind of nice that I don't have much to do. So I was thinking I might go to the movies today. It forces me to um, get out of the house, number one, and it forces me to do something enjoyable. Um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard when you're by yourself because, you know, maybe some of you guys can relate. You know, you get into like a, I don't know, a boring, <sighs> What do I do today, you know? And I, I'm kind of, you know, if I was staying in this house, I would be planting a garden or, you know, going out shopping for furniture for the courtyard or, you know, that kind of stuff. But I don't have that to do. So I'm kind of in a unique situation. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube. So anyways, I watch all kinds of different, you know, things. I don't watch the same, you know, because I do homemaking type videos, you might think that that is what I am drawn to do but I don't watch a whole lot of homemaking or cleaning there are some cleaning videos that I enjoy watching but the first one that um, I'm going to share with you guys today I'm going to make sure to link all of these channels in the description and here in the screen I'm going to put up a picture of their what their channel looks like so that you guys can easily find them but um I like this particular, the first one I'm going to start off with is homemaking and um, I enjoy this particular one because um, I like the way she edits and I know that she uses um, a certain um, editing tool to, to, you know, to edit her videos, but it's not really just that. Um, it is a uh, the way she films and I really it just it's, it makes it really enjoyable I've seen a couple channels that are here in the States that try and mimic that style but they don't do it well <laughs> so um, anyways <clears throat> it is Hammy Mommy and she is in Seoul North Korea and I just love love watching her channel she is married with one little girl and her little girl is adorable um i love watching her channel like i said because of the way she edits her videos um and you know i know it goes into editing so um i really enjoy that i learn a lot from her and you know just from watching her her videos i learn a lot about editing but um I enjoy watching her homemaking style. I, I just really enjoy watching her cook. You know, the food is so different there. Um, but she makes a lot of, you know, she's well-traveled, so she makes a lot of dishes from different parts of the world as well. Um, so she'll make, you know, something that she remembers having in a cafe in France or, you know, um, that type of thing. So a lot of dishes that are, um, you know, particular to Korea which is normal, you know, Korean food, which is yummy. But a lot of food, you know, American foods, she'll make American foods. And so it's just really fun to watch her cook. And a lot of her products that she uses, most of her products, I've noticed are a lot of Ikea. So a lot of Ikea things. So you get some good hacks there too, or, you know, get a good look at products from Ikea and how to use them and that kind of thing. So Hammy Mommy, and Hammy is the name of her little girl. So Hammy Mommy. So 
Okay, the second channel that I enjoy watching is, I'm gonna, it's, I, it's, okay, it's French. <laughs> and it's, I believe, De Ahoufe, uh, or I, I, I don't speak French. I am French. My mother was French and she was from Belgium, which is why I enjoy this channel because it is a old Belgium farm renovation. So they are taking a hundred, I think it's a it's a hundred year old abandoned farmhouse and they are completely renovating it. And I am just enamored by the whole thing. I just love it. I love seeing the countryside. I love seeing everything about it and listening to their accents. Completely reminds me of my mom when they speak English and yeah, so um, it is a couple and they have two children, I believe, a boy and a girl. You don't ever really see the kids. Every once in a while, they're helping out at the farm. But um, they are done with um, pouring the concrete, I believe, in most of the house downstairs. They had to like completely rip up the floor and you'll see. You have to go check out. I, I will make sure to. Um, what does that mean, by the way? I should look at that. De Ohi. Uh, let's see. Let's see. First, let's do the pronunciation. See if I'm even close. Van de Hoefe. Van de Hoefe. De Hoefe. De Hoefe. That's on Spanish. Van de Hoefe. I don't know. I don't know. farm <laughs> okay that was easy so anyways um that is a really fun i love watching love watching renovations of homes when they take a really old home and they revive that home bring it back to its original um state i really enjoy that um you know and add modern touches obviously for you know using it today but still keeping intact the um, original charm of the home and that is exactly what they are doing so it's a really fun renovation to watch a really fun channel and you know belgians love their beer and um so sometimes they'll sit at the end of the day and they'll enjoy a beer together so i love that um because my mom was all about her beer um so yeah, it's a it's a really fun. So that's that's you know, and none of these are in any particular order. I'm not saying that you know this one is better than this one. It's just you know, I'm just giving you the list of my top ten um, you know uh, channels that I enjoy watching. Okay. So number three is something that I watch. He makes a video once a week and it comes out on Sundays and it is Peter Santanello. And the reason why I enjoy watching his channel is because he goes inside different cultures and he, um, he visits that culture and spends a day or two or what have you with each culture. And, you know, for instance, he went into time with the Amish um, and he um, has been to Skid Row. Um, but it's not like he goes and just interviews people. He literally is taken in. He always has somebody. So at this point in his YouTube career, people are reaching out to him and saying, hey, you might want to come check out, you know, this area or come check out this culture. And so he usually has a guide, um, you know, somebody from within that um, that group or neighborhood or culture. Cool. My favorite, my favorite so far that he has done um, on his channel since I've been watching him is the Amish. I've always been really interested in the Amish. I visited, I had the opportunity to um, visit a friend and that lives in um, Illinois and um, they live in near Amish country and so we were in Amish country she actually and Mennonite and so um, 
So I, you know, I got, I just, I loved driving by their farms. They're so manicured and their way of life is so simple. And, you know, I just, I love that. It's, okay. And you guys are all going to know about this one. <laughs> and if you haven't, you've been under a rock. Garden Answer. Love Garden Answer. I love them so much. And I love um, watching her create. And she's got such a... Um, romantic side to her and when I mean that I mean in the way she decorates and the way she creates gardens and um, I swear they have a made for lifetime TV made for Hallmark property I mean if their property has not been on Hallmark I'd be surprised it's gorgeous um, a beautiful old farmhouse and they live in Oregon um, Eastern Oregon so on the border of Idaho so, um, you know, it snows there and it gets really hot there. And, um, you know, so she has lots of tips for, you know, for that kind of gardening. Um, but I just, I love, love her channel. I love everything about it. Um, there, there's always something going on on the property and just, you know, fun to watch. Um, another channel that I enjoy watching Okay, so this girl I love watching because she's, okay, she's exactly what I believe YouTube needs for young moms who live on a budget. Um, she is, um, I, I've told her on numerous occasions, you are so needed on YouTube. Um, it's Carrie Lynn. And she has two channels, Cleaning with Carrie and Carrie Lynn. So Cleaning with Carrie, she does, you know, cleaning videos. And then she has Carrie Lynn, which is where she does all her DIYs and home projects and that kind of stuff. But she is a um, thrifter. She loves thrifting. She loves flipping um, pieces for her home. She just has, she just has done so much in her home to make it, um, I've been watching her for a long time, and so um, I think they were in their single wide trailer. They were in a single wide trailer, I think, um, when I started watching her. I can't remember because then they moved to Florida. Her family has property, so they lived in the house on her family's property while they were looking for a house. So I have watched her since they bought their home and I've got to watch this home, house evolve into a little home for them. And it's so awesome. Her and her husband do some really cool projects and I enjoy watching that kind of stuff. I feel like it's so needed on YouTube for people to, um, to know that they can have a beautiful home on a small budget. And, um, so I really, I really enjoy watching her channel. So she's... She's definitely, what is that, number five? Okay, so the next one, number six, um, is, and I think I mentioned this in another video, um, Farmhouse on Boone. Um, not only for recipes or um, that kind of thing, but I just love the fact that she lives in a farmhouse and um, I like seeing the actual farmhouse living or farmhouse decor um, but she makes these amazing meals and she cooks three you know they don't go out and eat um, she cooks everything from scratch and um, how many kids do they have I want to say five maybe six um, so they, yeah because they just had another baby I don't know if that was baby five or six but um, she you know, they milk their own cow. She, just everything is, you know, she she even sources her meats um, from a local farmer. Um, just everything is, you know, all natural, organic. She does it all from scratch. Yeah. The whole sense of decor, the simplicity of it, and um, how it's so organic and so, um, I don't know. It's it's really an interesting channel, but you get a lot of. Um, she has a book. I think I said she has a, a blog. 
So I'll make sure to link the blog down below as well as her channel um, link so that you can go check her out. But um, yeah, really interesting channel to watch. I really enjoy it. Okay, so another channel that I have really gotten into <laughs> because retirement is coming up, I'm always looking on YouTube. You know, here's the cool thing about YouTube. If you wanna visit a place, all you have to do is search it on YouTube. And somebody has put a video up touring it or driving through the area or what have you. And I think that is probably one of the coolest things about YouTube is that you can visit anywhere you want from the comfort of your own home. And I think that that's so cool. Um, and so I've you know looked at places in Florida, mainly a retirement community. Okay. So the Villages, Florida Newcomers. And um, that is, that I just, I love them. <laughs> They're an older couple and I just love them. Um, but I like the fact that they share everything. So the, they share everything, the good, the bad, the ugly um, about, uh, about the villages. So we definitely are gonna go check it out for sure. It is some place that we, you know, said, we're going to go check it out and see, is that for us? You know, and Ernie was funny. He was funny when I um, shared it for the first time with them, probably like, I don't know, it's been a while. I said, you know, what do you think about this place? And he said, um, you know, you trying to get me to go move with the silver foxes? And I'm like, honey, we are the silver foxes. <laughs> It's a cool place if you haven't heard of it. It's a golf cart community and um, everything is in the villages, like shopping, dining, everything is in the villages. So you don't really need to go outside of the villages to do anything. And I just think that that is so awesome. And um, so I love watching their channel because they share everything about it. and. Um, and I think that that would be a really fun place to go visit. I'd love to meet up with them and have them show us around. I think that would be really cool. Maybe I'll reach out to them before we go. Ernie, and when I mention a place, Ernie immediately starts doing his research on it. And so <laughs> he immediately did his research on the villages and he said that, um, that you know that it's crazy there and um you know so you have retirees so couples who have retired you have um single retirees male and female um it's just i i want to encourage you to just search on youtube the villages florida and watch all the videos not just from um this couple but from everybody because there's so many different videos out there Almost like a, a 55 and up community, a, a, like a utopia. Um, you know, they have like the village in the center. It's just, it's really cool. Like literally you drive your golf cart and you know, you're, it's like you're at an outdoor mall. You know, there's like restaurants and shopping and it's just really kind of cool. I almost feel like, have you ever seen that movie Downsizing? And they're at, what was the name of the, um, the town that they, you know, downsizing where you go. Um, it almost reminds me of that, <laughs> but for seniors. So, um, I don't know. I just don't know if we're ready for that kind of retirement, you know, cause everybody's retirement looks different. We still have some years to go, but, um, you know, what will our retirement look like? I don't know that in four years we'll be ready for this, but in four years we might be ready for this, you know? So definitely over the next, you know, couple of years, I want to go visit um, the villages in Florida and I want to go check it out. So um, anyway, so that is, that is really um, um, a fun channel to watch. Now the next one that I enjoy watching is the Daughtry Dozen. And they have 10 children. Uh, six are adopted, four are biological, and it's your typical story of parents who didn't think they could get pregnant, so they started adopting or fostering, and then they ended up having kids. 
What I like about her channel is there's no editing. <laughs> she literally sets a camera up and you just watch her prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner for her kids. Um, it's not, I don't, why do I like that channel? I think because it just amazes me the energy this woman has. And, you know, she's always smiling. Somebody said, you know, had asked her, why do you always have a smile on your face? A random smile on your face. And her response to that was that she's, you know, just happy. She's happy that she gets to mother. And, um, but she's got like all her ducks in a row and it just, she does grocery hauls, you know, weekly grocery hauls cost this woman, you know, between 900 and $1,300 at one store. And um, I don't know where they get their money. You know, I'm sure they're making an income off of YouTube, but prior to YouTube, I don't know where they get their money or how they can afford it. It's none of my business. Just know that they can. And, um, and it's just amazing to me that she just has it so organized. Sometimes when you feel unorganized in life or, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's nice to watch, to see somebody who has, you know, has it all together, or has all their ducks in a row. And, and I, I'm just, I'm, I am always just like blown away. So what I like about her, you know, her morning routine videos is they're unedited. She literally just sets a camera up and it's just her morning. But can you imagine <clears throat> 10 kids? So yeah, she's amazing to watch. So definitely check her out. Okay, another channel that I really enjoy watching. I love watching homesteading videos, and there are a few that I like to watch, but I'm going to go ahead and share this one with you because um, you kind of get the full spectrum, farming, um, just the full spectrum of everything. They're in Oklahoma, and it's Arms Family Homestead. They've got a ton of viewership, and... Um, he's kind of like the leader, or they are kind of like the leader of the pack of homesteading channels on YouTube. Um, but I really enjoy watching homesteading. It's something that, um, you know, if I, when I was younger, if we could have done it, it would have been something that I would have enjoyed doing. Um, you know, I don't know at what level, um, but, you know, I was raised by a dad who loved to garden and, um, uh, you know, grow food and stuff. And so, you know, homesteading has always been something that, you know, I've enjoyed watching, but I like watching them. So they're, they have three children. Um, they have a farm, obviously she is, um, you know, loves her uh, miniature donkeys and cows. They just recently got, of course, chickens because what homesteader doesn't have chickens. Um, really enjoy that and then um, just everything that has to do with the farm and um, they hunt and um, just all of that fun stuff and I just I love what they're in Oklahoma first of all so I love watching um, you know I love watching the homesteaders because I think there's one homesteader I watch Where? homesteading homemaker sorry I had to look at my subscriptions Love watching her, um, Lindsay, and they are, um, they are uh, building their home on their property, their forever home. They built a home that they live in. It's under 600 square feet. They just had their third child, um, but now they are building their barn dominium or what have you on their property across the way and so yeah that's been really fun so i l enjoy watching her um but um he's on a much grander scale and so i guess i guess those two homesteading homemaker i'll go ahead and link both of them homesteading homemaker and arms family and you'll see what i'm talking about um Lindsay is more of the because her husband works and she homeschools um and you know has a garden and everything so it's more of like a um home you know a homemaker homesteading homemaker 
Um, she, she, you know, it's on a much smaller scale. So that's, that's fun to watch. And then he's on a more, you know, much grander scale. So really, um, really fun to watch. So I, I enjoy watching those videos. So you see, I don't just watch cleaning videos, you know, um, I have like a whole spectrum of things that I love watching. I don't really watch regular TV anymore. I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. I watch, um, I watch, uh, Everybody Loves Raymond <laughs> at night and, um, I watch housewife shows. Um, I love the OC Housewives, I love the Beverly Hills Housewives, and I love the Jersey Housewives. Those are the only ones I watch, but I've been watching them for years. And, um, you know, it's the dramatics, you know, made for TV dramatics um, and, and whatever. It's sheer entertainment for me. Um, they're so out of touch <laughs> with the real people. It just, it's shocking. So I enjoy watching um, that, but I don't watch, you know, regular TV. If I'm not watching YouTube, I'm usually watching, um, you know, I'm not watching TV at all, or I'm, you know, I'm watching a Netflix movie or something on Amazon, you know, Prime. So I just don't, it's not a priority for me to watch TV. There isn't anything. I get all my news from, um, from from YouTube. <laughs> There's certain people that I watch on YouTube. Um, I love Candace Owens and I love watching her. Um, but I get all my news from from kind of, they're not even really journalists. They're um, just people on YouTube that share, you know, who's a good one to, to kind of talk to, to kind of talk about what's going on, you know, in the news, um, the big stories is um, Tim Cast. Um, he's he's interesting to watch because it's he's not um, obviously a lot that goes on in our country right now is political, but he's not like a Democrat or a Republican or or anything like that. He just shares the stories. I think he considers himself a libertarian, actually. Um, but I love watching it because he has such a um, interesting take on everything, but he's, um, he shares the real nitty gritty, um, about all of that. So I really enjoy watching, um, him. So I, I don't watch regular TV. I just don't. There isn't, I just, I just don't, you know, I don't care for what is being aired. I mean, I will watch reruns of Little House on the Prairie if <laughs> No, I just, there isn't anything on TV anymore that interests me. And so I don't, you know, so when I do sit down in front of the boob tube, my dad used to call it, um, that's what I'm watching. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I just, I love the fact that on YouTube, I can watch a variety of things that, you know, really documentaries, you can even watch movies on YouTube. Um, documentaries and um you know that kind of stuff and just things that interest you you know and you can find anything on youtube so i think that that's so interesting so anyways i will i thought that it would be fun to share that with you guys uh link or don't link but comment down below channels that i might be interested in based on what i shared with you um, what your favorite YouTube channel is to watch and um, and that way I have some new content I can go check out. I think that would be really fun to share that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are doing well and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.